Welcome back to Dreams. So I got a game here called Mainland by Slam Donahue. Uh, coming to grips with being adrift. Cosmic horror dioramas. Let's check this out. Tis them. Dreams. I'm guessing this is going to be like something trippy. Oh, okay. That's cool. Bar had its own stale charm, the once fun, now clearly depressed uncle looking for every reason to leave early. The shell, but probably was pretty decent at one point. Ah, oh, well, I wasn't here to review the bar. Shame, though. The rain was a cacophony off the tin roof. My contact seemed to be the only one in place uh, save the barman. Is that a praying mantis? You must be from the agency. I could think better if these sad songs weren't playing. Uh, would you be dear drop this quarter in the jukebox? Switch it to something a little more upbeat and we can talk. Okay. Sure. What's your jam? Oh, God. The barman stopped me and warned not to be listening to the madness. He said, I wouldn't be the first to lose my head. With the sideways glance, he went back to polishing glasses. That's much better. Isn't this better? Oh yeah, what, what were you saying before? The mantis only interrupted whenever anyone else spoke. It talked in circles. Like Shorzy. It mentioned Cleveland and quantum theory and how they relate. Where was it going with any of this? There's a 90% chance I shouldn't be telling you any of this. Maybe I shouldn't even know it. Anyways, the mission, right? Meet me in the basement. It's kind of dodgy. They don't call you a praying mantis for nothing. Behind these doors is what we are looking for. The key to time and space. An object so powerful that whoever wields it is basically... Uh, it wields it basically becomes a god. Not bad, right? I wonder why something like that would be locked up under a dive bar. You'd think it would be in a lab trying to be harassed, to be harnessed, sorry. <laughs> oh god. Oh, or at least gathering dust in a museum. All we have to do is blow open these doors and it's mine. Ours. You know what I mean. Go grab some charges from that black box there. Go grab some charges from that box back there, okay. Sorry, uh, maybe this isn't the best idea, but the agency wants whatever is behind that door. This should be what the Mantis was talking about. Seems heavy-handed for the job, but the mission was to secure the object by any means. Good, good. Now step away as I blow this thing all to all hell. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Here we go. Oh, what the hell? Oh no, they must have found us. Who, the time police or something? The mantis started to panic and was soon as... Uh, and as soon as whoever it was who found us broke through the basement door, the mantis triggered the charges. Kablooey. Oh. Oh, we're falling, I think. That was a nice intro. I like the way... I like the look of the game. Oh, hi. Oh my god, you are huge. Uh, wake it up in a hospital? What the hell was that? Was I dreaming? The explosions must have knocked me out. Maybe the mantis brought me here. Seems unlikely. He was kind of a jerk. Oh, charts. My name is on all the medical charts. What are these tracking? They seem to be months old, but that can't be right, can it? Oh, was I friggin' in a, in a coma? Medical equipment. No idea what any of these, but it definitely... Uh, no idea what any of this does, but it definitely doesn't look like any medical equipment I've seen before. Probably not a great idea to tamper with it. Can I leave? Of course the door is locked. Why would I wake up in this shifty hospital room with an unlocked door? Is that a surveillance camera? It is, sir. It is. Hi. I just sit down. My bed... My <laughs> My head. Sorry, I'm tired. It's what, what time is it? It's like 11 a.m. No, p.m. 
It's 10.25 p.m. I mean, my head is pounding. Maybe I need to lay down for just a bit. I like the transition there. It's like your eyes closing. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, what the? Now this has to be a dream. Why does my head still hurt then? Everything is fuzzy, but it feels like I have been here before. That couldn't be. Um... This is... This is like a frickin' sacrifice chamber or something. Unknown cuts of meat and innards heaped on the table slide off its edges. A giant knife is stuck through into the wood. Better be careful not to get the pooling blood on my shoes. Oh yeah, that's one thing to worry about, your shoes. Not this big demon statue that people probably worship and do sacrifices down here for. Skull. The enormous skull adorned with flowers took up most of the room out oddly. Oh, sorry, oddly even... <laughs> Oddly, when I look away, it seems to be crawling with insects, but when looked at directly, it sits still. Well, I can hear a clicking coming from the top of the altar. It's faint, but its otherworldly tone cuts through everything else. Whoa. I'd agree with that. That's a way to describe otherworldly tone. Who's this now? Oh! <laughs> yeah, I think I must have thought I was like Samara or something coming out of the well. <laughs> the man heard me but kept running. Who, uh, who would blame them? If some soaked creature crawled out of a well in front of me, I would run too. Yeah. Oh, what? Did he drop something? A key! The man dropped a peculiar looking key. Maybe if I follow him, I will find out what it locks, what lock it fits. I'm having trouble with words today. Words are hard. Also, grammar is hard. It has come to the intention of the agency that Agent Blank has become drifted. All efforts to retether have been unsuccessful. Contact with the agent has been disrupted. Believe separation syndrome, loss to self, reality awareness, combative amnesia, false memory, regression, exit team 3S15 is attempting contact, hospitalization recommended, force permitted. So I went crazy and they forced me to be hospitalized or something? Oh, I'm back up. Was I dreaming? Was I dreaming of memories? More weird dreams, at least that's what I hope they are. My head is spinning, why can't I remember a thing? Wait, was that the lock? Yay. Oh. Hi. Doctor? Sit down, Agent. The mission is ended. The explosion stranded you somewhere else. It seems you slipped due to the object reacting negatively to being blown up. We're trying to find a way out, but it'll take time. If we pull you now, there is no telling how much or how little you come back. Have you heard of spa spaghetti fixation? Did I read that right? I don't think it's what I think it is. <laughs> Let's step outside. Your head is most likely quite foggy. It's a side effect of the warping around you. The evening air will do you some good. Calling out return, no answer. The path opened to a courtyard and a large church set back upon a hill. I don't know why I feel, but... I don't know why, but I feel I should follow that man up to the church. Just go to church in general. If shit, weird shit is happening, involving monsters and demons and whatnot, go to a church. That may help. It seems like a tiny village, yet there are over a dozen missing person posters on the notice board. Could they all have been from this town? <sighs> Sorry, my eyes are watering and I'm tired. And I have this issue with like, my eyes water, and sometimes it does hurt my eyes. It irritates it. An enormous angel statue looms over the entrance of the church. Seems out of place in such a small town. Maybe this church has some significance. Let's go see Jesus. 
I really like the look of this game. Uh, it reminds me of a game I played, um, Oxenfree. Uh, the church was empty, no sign of the man from before. An odd sensation crept in. A skull on the altar, f uh, a skull on the far end of the room looks familiar. Yeah, that's the big freaking skull we saw earlier. Window. The moonlight spilling in through the window lit the entire church. Outside in the dark, I could swear shadows were moving. Same skull I saw in that temple. This one had a keyhole right in the middle of its brow, though. Only one way to find out. Oh boy, there's there's a lot of them. There's a lot of skulls there. Oh boy, it has chosen us. You saw for yourself in the temple, the first meeting place, and now here again in this humble church. You are conduit. I didn't expect a sermon. <laughs> As the priest went on, it became clear it wasn't, it wasn't, and he w was directly addressing me. We few trapped here long for understanding waited for you. We won't let this opportunity pass. The others are gathered, hoping. He is raving, still as if a spell I start to fall, the floor slips away. You will commune with it. Here it's called to break this reality in half. Free the few stranded in yourself. Oh boy. <laughs> the players will follow away and we'll find the exit. You have to trust in the agency. They have their best on this. My head's still spinning. I think I remember this doctor, but all the agency stuff is fuzz. Uh, she seems to know me well, though. Honestly, the agency wanted the object back, but since you are in such close proximity, they want you back, too. Standard protocol. Debrief, testing, cognition, analysis. Uh, you just have to be patient. Wait. What is she even talking about? Stuck where? Here? In this hospital? I have so many questions that the doctor only speaks riddles. So, this hospital portion with this doctor. Is this in our head? Or somewhere that is not of the real world? That's what I'm thinking at least. I know you have questions. Maybe they won't be answered, but we'll try. Oh, back in the altar. Back here again, what did that priest say? The first meeting place commune. My head hurts worse than ever. This thing looks charred up. The skull now jet black is uh, the skull now jet black is blanketed with tiny crystalline insects. Almost in, in, almost imperceptible. It seemed to flit in and out of existence. Uh, uh, uh. I just, <laughs> I'm just gonna let you read. <laughs> I've been messing up a lot. Uh, the meat has rotted, and a thick swarm of flies circle the table. Whatever was butchered here lays as waste. Uh, the ever-expanding pool of blood clings to the bottom of my shoes. Yeah, just let your shoes get dirty. It's, you're in a sacrificial altar. Whatever happens, happens. The otherworldly clicking pulls me towards up and up the steps. My feet working themselves, my mind muddles and fragments commune. This again. I've transcended. Agent Blank has been contacted by Agent Blank. Situation brief is much worse than predicted. Established connection, however, Agent Blank has yet to recognize efforts. Continue processing, continue processing exit strategy. Object is lost, but Agent Blank could provide crucial information. Dive team on standby. Tether needs to be at 60% for mission to salvage. Tether rate stable. Suggested neural lance operation to encourage rise. Stand by my standby orders. Oh. Uh, my whole being seems change. My head is clear. All the robed figures before me murmur amongst themselves. I close my eyes and feel the abyss wash me away. What are these visuals that keep flashing? Back in the hospital. Quote unquote. 
hospital again, I connect with God and give it into infinite nothingness and still wake up in a hospital. Maybe the door is still unlocked. I have to get out of here. Charts go on for what looked like years. Have I really been here this long? Oh, okay. What's up, Doc? A cosmic being? You made it back, just in time. This tear, this tear is our best chance of exiting. Tether is at 61%. We're going. The doctor keeps motioning towards the pulsating mass of energy. I can feel it trying to claw up my skin even from a distance. It shimmers and seemingly folds it on itself. The agency insists. I don't care what you saw out in the void. Now get on with it before it becomes unstable. I push against the doctor's grip. Something deep within reacts. Kicks and thrashes. The, the tear shakes violently. Rip and tear. Surprised we weren't killed, the terror turned itself inside out and coughed us up here. I have no idea where here is, but it's a nice sunrise. Yeah, I gotta take the good with the bad. As the doctor watches the sunrise, I notice a small mantis riding on the arm of my jacket. One swift flick, and it's flung a dozen feet into the brush. Dude, what if that was the mantis from the start? No chance of an exit now. Both of our te tethers are at zero. Might as well enjoy this before the dread sets in. The horizon continues to brighten. I try and let myself enjoy it. Okay, so the doctor is an agent as well. Okay. Uh, both agents lost the objects to an unrecoverable last ditch neutral lance. Unsuccessful. Closest terror terminally unstable. Continued observation. Prior prior prioritize caution. Attempting to seal the breaches into mainline reality. Status indeterminate. Salvage of any redeeming mission factors unlikely. Hold for further relay. Oh, okay. That was Mainland by Slam Donahue. Okay, so I'm not going to pretend I 100% know the story, but uh, from what I got here, uh, the guy we control is part of an agency. Uh, we're going to see the Prang Mantis. He has some information for us. He takes us uh, to the basement bar, and... Uh, there's a big door. He says there is something behind it, the key to time and space, where you uh, basically control it or wield it and pretty much become a god. And this is what the agency is interested in, whatever's behind that door. Uh, we blow it up, and then all of a sudden things go out of whack. And during that whole time of like moving between destinations, I'm assuming uh, we're in that uh, space, wherever that space is. And moving through areas and stuff, I'm not sure what that is about. But the times with the uh, hospital, I think, is uh, the agency trying to contact us to try and get information and try and get us out of uh, that space. And that's where my head hurts. <laughs> uh, everything else, uh, the big demon head, uh, the altar, the, um, the cosmic being looking thing. And that's where it gets a bit confusing. I'm guessing, like, the stuff to do with, uh, like, the cosmic being and, like, the big demon heads and other demon stuff, I guess they're from this space that we're in. Of course, like, most things that seem godlike, they are worshipped, I guess, by people in mainland. But that's as far as I got. In the end, uh, the agency's trying to get us out. Uh, we're in contact with this other agent. And we're about to go through a tear, I believe, to go to the mainland which is i guess reality but uh the terror turns inside out and blasts us and we end up somewhere where i guess there's no way out but it's a, there's a nice uh, sunset though have a uh, good times there i guess uh but yeah I, I i mentioned it before i really like how this looked i did say in the i did say previously it reminded me of a game i played called oxen free but it's similar to that but i was thinking of another game um uh, it's a horror game called uh i think lone survivor it's pretty much like a 2D horror game. Um, I probably label it as like 2D survivor horror. 
Uh, but yeah, it looked like that. Uh, so the aesthetics is the aesthetic is really cool. And we have these cool designed areas in the game, like the uh, the sacrificial room area with the altar and the big demon head. Uh, you got some outside locations that are uh, just really, even in that aesthetic, look just look very scenic. And even though I don't 100% get the story, uh, it's just it's just out there and cool. I get enough to understand uh, a bit of what's going on. And if there is more from this in the future, uh, I'd definitely like to play. Uh, that's pretty much all I got to say. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. Be cool, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.